My name is Laura Silverman. I would like to start off by thanking you all for coming out tonight. I would also like to thank the Hillel community for giving me the opportunity to do something that I truly love, run Shabbat dinners for the past year and a half. I stand before you tonight asking you to give me the chance to do something else I know I'll love. I would love to serve as your president because, to put it simply, I love Hillel. I see such great potential for us as an organization. I am qualified to lead us to bigger and better, and I have a strong work ethic. I also understand the value of extending a helping hand and going above and beyond the specific responsibilities of my position. This is evident by my constant attendance at student-run events, my frequent volunteering to help others, because working together, we can achieve more. Aside from offering to help anyone that needs it, I have an excellent track record with growth, and I'll give you three examples. When I was president of the debate team in high school, we went from four members to 12 members. That's three times the size, and because of that, we got to move our meetings out of the janitor's closet. <laughs> Next, when I took on being president of Kohalila, a position I held for two years, we had six members. We grew to 15, more than twice the size. This job has given me a lot of collegiate presidential experience. Lastly, I was elected Shabbat chair twice, and this year, at our first Shabbat dinner, we had over 400 students in attendance, the largest ever. We used the multi-purpose room for it, and because of my experiences, being part of student government on Cook campus, yes, I lived there for two years and served as freshman and sophomore class representative. I knew how to reserve the space. Cutting through the red tape here at Rutgers is tough, and we need a president who knows how to do it, as I just illustrated that I can. I hope to continue our work with other communities here at Rutgers, of which I have connections from my time on student government. It is important to have a larger Hillel contingency at these events. Um, and so maybe we should initiate some that we feel strongly about. We had a great program with Rutgers United Against Hate. We managed to unite all of Rutgers. We can't let that die down. We need to feed that fire. On a smaller scale and one that's closer to home, I hope to facilitate any programs that any students want to run. If you want it, I'll do everything I personally can to see that it happens. We are only as strong as we make ourselves, and in order for people to feel more comfortable, I feel it is important that each student know that their voice will be heard. We should all be entrepreneurs of what we want to see happen within these walls. I want to see more people get involved with Hillel to build our strength. If we need to create new clubs within our structure that interest people, we will. If people want a Jewish intramural sports team, we'll start one. Or how about an alternative spring break right here in New Brunswick to give back to our community? Moreover, if students want to lobby for something as a Jewish community, such as registration for classes during Passover, or if graduation ever falls in Shavuot again, we'll do it. I was personally a victim of the registration schedule this year, but it isn't a fight for one person alone. This is important to us as a Jewish community and should be handled in that way. Hillel strives to create a community, and what better way than by tackling adversity together is there to connect everyone. I stress again that if students want it, we will do our best to make it happen. If people have common interests and want to create something here at Hillel based on those commonalities, it should not be stifled, stifled it should be harvested. Hillel is on the verge of a new generation, and we need to prove that we want and need the new building our staff is working so hard to obtain. To do that, we need to pack the house, and to do that, we need to find things that interest everyone. However, as I'm sure you all know by now, there isn't much I was able to do about the food at Shabbat dinners, although I personally think I've done a lot. How about the sheet cake? <laughs> the Caesar salad, chicken fingers, or how about those mashed potatoes you all raved about? So please remember that the power that comes with this job isn't limitless, but I'll do whatever I can to make next year the best year yet. I can assure you I'll do my job, and I'll do it to the best of my qualifications, which are numerous. I promise I won't let you down if elected to the position of president for next year. I promise to work with you, the students, to make this a place you are proud to call a home away from home, a place you feel comfortable walking into at any time. This will not be a one-way street with me as your leader. It will be a partnership. I've served you dinner. Please let me serve you as president. I would like to wish my opponents luck and all the candidates luck in the election. Thank you for coming. Okay, so please hold up any questions that you have for Laura, and Danielle's going to come grab them, or if they're, you're in this room, I'll grab them. Don't worry, your time is not starting for questions. Okay. We're good.